Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at using the angle sum identities. So we have the problem, find the exact value of cosine of 105 degrees and we have these two formulas available to us. Now the way we would use these angle sum formulas is we need to break the angle in question into two pieces. And the two pieces we want to use, we're going to select two angles from this list. We have 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. And now the reason why we want to select two of these angles is because we know the exact value of sine and cosine at 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So therefore we want to break 105 degrees into two pieces, specifically two pieces from this list because we know the sine and cosine of these exact angles here. So for 105 degrees we're looking at the cosine of 105 degrees, we could analyze and say, well, 105 degrees is equal to 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So we know that this is true. So what this allows us to do is we're going to make a substitution for 105 degrees. We're going to call this cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. And now what this does is this allows us to use the following equation here. So we could set our A value equal to 60 degrees. Notice how they're in the same corresponding place. So we have an A value of 60 degrees and we have a B value of 45 degrees. So now for the next line what we could say is what we can set this equal to, we'll do this first, we have the cosine of A plus B is equal to cosine of A, so we're taking the cosine of 60 degrees, because that's our A value, and we're multiplying this by cosine B, so we're multiplying by cosine of 45 degrees, because we set our B value equal to 45 degrees, and now we're going to subtract sine of A, so we have sine of A, but our A value is 60 degrees, so we're taking the sine of 60 degrees, and we're multiplying this by sine of B. So we're going to multiply by sine of 45 degrees. So now for the next line of the problem, this is where knowing the exact values of sine and cosine at 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees is going to come in. So if, you're not, if you haven't learned how to do that yet, you would want to watch this video right here. Otherwise, I'm just going to move forward and assume that we know the sine and cosine at these exact angles. So for the next line, notice how we have cosine, we'll call this line 1. For line 2, notice how we have cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. Now we could simplify this back to cosine of 105 degrees. So we have cosine of 105 degrees equals... And now we have cosine of 60 degrees, which is 1 half. So now we can make the direct substitutions. Cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half, and we're multiplying by cosine of 45 degrees, which is equal to the square root of 2 divided by 2. Now we're subtracting the sine of 60. Sine of 60 is equal to radical 3 over 2. and we're multiplying by sine of 45, which is also equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So now for the next line, we could simplify a little bit more. We have the cosine of 105 degrees is equal to, and now we have 1 times radical 2 is radical 2 over 2 times 2 is 4. So we have radical 2 over 4 minus and now we have radical 3 times radical 2, that's equal to radical 6, over 2 times 2, which is 4. So if we want to simplify this all into one expression, we have that the cosine of 105 degrees is equal to the square root of 2 minus the square root of 6 divided by 4. So this is going to be our final answer. Now if this were a test, I would recommend, if a calculator is available to you, 
evaluating the cosine of 105 degrees and making sure that it matches with the square root of 2 minus the square root of 6 all divided by 4. You should get something like negative 0.258819 and this decimal will continue but you want to make sure that both the left hand side and the right hand side simplify to this decimal here and then you'll know that you did this problem right if it were in a test setting. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using the addition of angles trig identity. Thank you, thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was helpful.